<laughs> Today I'm talking with Danai Ismatani, who's the, what are you, you're the head of the Jackmania? Yeah, yeah the, the head of the And um, if you read the Jakarta Post, or you read the Jakarta Globe, I mean, these guys are a bunch of hooligans, and every game you go to the Persia Jack, it always ends up in absolute fighting and rioting, and it's, you know, it's absolute mayhem. It makes Millwall look like a Sunday afternoon stroll. So, Danai, mm. who are you, and what is Jackmania? Yeah, I'm the chief of the Jackmania, yeah, and Jackmania itself is the... Uh, uh, the uh, defense club of Persija Jakarta, a club is, which is a residence of the city of Jakarta, Indonesia. Okay, um, why are you the leader? I mean, who chose you to be the leader? Yeah, uh, as an organization, we have uh, an election which held in two years, in every two years. Yeah. And I've been elected by the members since 2006. And I got elected in the second time in 2008, and we're having a third election in 2010, maybe in about five or six months ahead. Okay, so it's it's kind of an organized thing then, Jack Mania. It's not a bunch of people who just turn up. You, you got some organization behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, when we first uh, established Jack Mania in 1997, yeah. Uh, maybe in that time we're we're not dealing in many things. Yeah, we're only deal about how we uh, saw the match, we, how we we just asking our friends to join us to see the match. But uh, after we went in about eight or ten years, uh, we felt that the organization is growing. Growing is not only by the amount of the people, yeah, but it's growing in in, uh, in the way with that we have the responsibilities about uh, the match itself, where uh, it's it's totally different when we only. Uh, Manage 40 people or 1500 people, and right now we're handling about 40,000 people. So, uh, so you got 40,000 members, yeah. Right now, we have 40,000 members, and we 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 moved to Senayan about two years ago. Yeah, when our stadium, the Black Blues, is only able to handle about 15,000, and when we grow in 2008, about uh, 20,000 members. Uh, the Persija, the club felt that we have to move to our new stadium, you know, which is the biggest stadium in Indonesia, uh, Gora Bung Um Alright, so you're a bit of organization. I mean, are you a bunch of hooligans? Is there, is there fighting and rioting <laughs> every game? I mean, if Persija are at home and we see people with orange shirts on buses, mm. should we all hide under the seats yeah, or yeah, something? Yeah. Is it uh, that bad? Basically, if you talk about hooligans and Jake Minya, yeah, uh, me, myself, uh, we have a code in, in Jackmania that uh, all the Jackmania is attending the Persija match only to support Persija and only to have fun. But uh, uh, things start to change when we move to uh, Senayan. When, where, when we play in Lebak Bulus, we, we just uh, saw the match with only our members. When that the members is already know about the code, they they have to obey all the rules, all the about, uh, government rules, all the Jackmania rules, or of the football rules. So everything is under control. But when we play in Senayan, actually first uh, then, then when Persija decided to uh, move to Senayan, uh, Jackmania is the the first who react that uh, refused the removal because. Uh, we all know in Senayan, Senayan is Jakarta itself is the center of the country, the center of Indonesia, and Senayan located in the center of Jakarta. So uh, we know that when we move to Senayan, it it might it, it commonly knows that Senayan is belongs to everyone, everyone in Jakarta, and it's, it's in central Jakarta when everyone could go to Senayan. So. Uh, we said to the club that when we play to Senayan, you have to uh, you have to prepare everything. You, pre you have to prepare about everyone who comes, everyone who who is not Jackmania, and everyone who doesn't have doesn't know the, about the rules. So it happens uh, a few months ago. In in the last six months, we felt it very very happened. Then uh, we. In Senayan, we, we only brought our members about 18 or 19,000 members, and not, not all of the 40,000. But I, I, I'm very surprised. I mean, Persisa match, I, I just knew that, wow, 
we brought about 19,000 people, but where the we, where the other uh, 30,000 came from? Because in the stadium, it's it's there there is about 50,000 people, 50,000 people, and uh, when they went back to the to their houses, we we, we heard that oh they right there that's right there, but and and, and I start, I start to wonder maybe are. Is it true that there, if there's our member, or maybe there comes to from anywhere else, and and then I uh, I send my my boys yeah. Why don't you go check there? Go check there, and and suddenly we we knew that uh, most of the people who make riots is not of the Jackmania member. They just uh, people who wore orange and they saw Persija mats, but they came from nowhere. So I mean. Jack Main, you get like a membership card yeah, or something? Yeah, we, we have a me membership card. Oh my, I, I, I left my wallet. Um, now, what about, you had a game recently and there was a photograph in your many new, in the English language papers again saying that, um, you know, people had parangs and knives and machetes mm -hmm, taken mm -hmm, to the mm -hmm. stadium. Yeah, uh, when we started to realize that uh, there's too much people uh, who whose uh, potential make conflict, uh, we made some pack with the government, with, with the with the with the police or of Jakarta, that uh, we we explained to the to the police that not Jackmania who did all of those riots, and and we are prepared uh, to to make to make a, a joint operation with the police that uh, everyone who brought uh, dangerous things must be captured there. and. And we make, we make the rest together. Yeah. The police uh, make a, make a, a post to brought down everyone who who potentially make conflict, and they rested in their offices. And my associate in Germania, we we always uh, we always traveling around the stadium after the match, and we catch everyone who. Did the same, yeah. and but uh, all the media, all the people knows only people who wearing orange is Czech mania. So when there's anyone who is arrested or when there's anyone who making some uh, bad things, they just simply said, "Oh wow, that's Czech mania." But actually, uh, it's uh, it's believed that with the police or and everyone that when we arrest the pe those people. Nobody of them have the Jackmania membership. Guess what? Mm. I'm not press play. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do it again, man. We're gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm not gonna record. <laughs> I'm gonna put that cross in the band all over again. I gotta do it for Jesus, man. Sorry, man. Sorry, mate. Is that recording? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Ada ini? Is there any sign? <laughs>